What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, Matchroom CEO and promoter, Eddie Hearn, and his own, has confirmed that four division world champion, Mexican superstar boxer, who is currently the undisputed super middleweight world champion, widely considered by many to be the face, if not one of the faces of the sport of boxing, Saul Canelo Alvarez, who has 59 wins, two losses, two draws, 39 wins by way of knockout. He is uh, 30, going on 33 years of age, five foot eight with a 70 inch arm reach. Now he's been working with Eddie Hearn since he parted ways with <clears throat> Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy Promotions. And uh, he did do a, a one-off deal with the Premier Boston Champion, founding advisor Al Heyman, and Showtime, Showtime President Sports, Steven Espinosa, he went back. He has worked with them in the past, but he went back. One fight where he fought the undisputed match with former IBF super middleweight world champion, superstar boxer, Caleb Sweethand Plant, which he got the knockout victory over Caleb Plant. With that said, Canelo Alvarez, after the Caleb Plant fight, he went back to Eddie Hearn, back to Matchroom, and he fought a fight against undefeated WBA light heavyweight world champion, Russian superstar boxer, Dmitry Bavol. And he lost. That was uh, May of last year. Cinco de Mayo weekend of last year. He lost. He lost. He didn't just lose, but he lost badly. He lost essentially every single round to Dimitri Bavol. Right? He won all, but he maybe won two, three rounds, if you want to be generous, against Dimitri Bavol. Then he went on and fought the trilogy match with Gennady Triple G Golovkin. He beat him. Then he came back this May, Cinco de Mayo. He fought and beat John Ryder. And now everybody was wondering what's next. News broke yesterday that he could be facing undefeated two division world champion, who's the reigning WBC middleweight world champion, superstar boxer, Jamal Lions only Charlo, who is 32 wins, no loss, no draw, 22 big wins by way of knockout. He's going on 33 years of age, six feet tall with a 74 inch arm reach. In his next fight, news broke yesterday. Then Jamal Charlo, he did an IG live with undefeated two division world champion. Now, junior middle, uh, super middleweight title contender, Demetrius Boo Boo Andre. And they discussed possibly fighting each other in September. And uh, they stated what weight class is going to be at. Jamal Charlo said fighting at 160 in Houston. Andre said, can't go there. He already fought at 68. He can't melt back down to 60. Um, Jamal Charlo stated then, let's do it at 65. Andre had agreed. So they went back and forth. But it seems like that's a smoke screen. Because you best believe Jamal Charlo's going in the direction of Canelo Alvarez. And according to Eddie Hearn, he stated that Canelo Alvarez's team has informed him that in September, they're gonna be fighting Jamal Charlo. So that means Canelo Alvarez, who's the cash cow, right? One of the faces, he and Javante Tank Davis of boxing, right? Um, this is a fight Jamal Charlo has been seeking out for years. It makes sense to fight for Canelo Alvarez because Jamal Charlo hasn't been in the ring in two years. June of 2021, the last time we saw him in the ring. Uh, he's been dealing with issues, uh, personal issues outside the sport of boxing. He's, you know, uh, inactive, right? And he's gonna have to go to a weight class he's never been to, 168, right? So he's gonna drag him up a whole weight class, which should actually benefit Jamal Charlo because uh, he's actually a big guy. 
so he don't have to melt down to, to 60, right? But again, he's inactive and it's chess, it's chess, right? It's strategic. It's a strategic move on the part of Canelo Alvarez like I told you guys yesterday. So Eddie Hearn just did an interview. He said that the Dimitri Bavol rematch with Canelo Alvarez is not happening. And that uh, he's been in contact with Canelo Alvarez's team. And they confirmed to him that they're going in the direction of Jamal Chawla. And again, when Canelo Alvarez comes a knocking, fighters will answer. So the whole Jam Jamal Chawla, Demetrius Andre fiasco yesterday on Instagram, on IG Live, the reason I didn't do a video about it like everybody else is because when you hear rumors of Canelo Alvarez possibly choosing Jamal Charlo and uh, 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 they saying 90% chance is done, nine times out of 10 is done. And then when I reached out to people, they're like, I don't know about Andre, but Canelo Alvarez is definitely interested in Jamal Charlo. And when Canelo Alvarez is interested, and he again, he comes a knocking, they're gonna answer. So Jamal Charlo is going to answer. And again, strategically, that's up Canelo Alvarez's out to go in the direction of Jamal Charlo right now, right? Ring Russ, moving up in weight, uh, uh, mental hasn't been in, you know, the best place dealing with personal issues outside the sport. That, that sounds about right. So, uh, Eddie Hearn says that he confirms it. Now, Jamal Charlo for Juan Monsiel, Monsiel, and he won the fight. He didn't look his best. But I hope, like I said, because this is a strategy, strategic chess match, chess move on the part of Canelo Alvarez to tell the fans that, well, I fought Jamal Charlo. Y'all said I didn't want to fight him. Y'all said I've been avoiding him for years. I've been ducking him. His fans is going to say the same thing. Finally fought, you finally fought. This is what y'all asked for. Well, we know Jamal Charlo right now has not been in, in the best position, in the best place. But I hope that Canelo Alvarez gets the absolute best version of Jamal Charlo the world has ever seen. I truly hope that to be the case. Truly. Because when Jamal Charlo was a coming and knocking at 160 and 154, they didn't even think about entertaining Jamal Charlo. Now, Jamal Charlo is a weight class below. He's been out the ring for two years. He's dealing with issues outside the ring. Now, all of a sudden, that's the correct fight for Canelo Alvarez to make right now? Right. Right. It's chess. That's strategic. So, Jamal Charlo's been working. Hopefully, he's focused. Hopefully, he's in shape. He got time. The fight ain't gonna be until September. We in, we just enter in the middle of June, two months out. That's about right. It'll be uh, Mexican Independence Day weekend, which would be June 16th. I mean, excuse me, September 16th. Mexican Independence Day weekend. Those are traditional days days for Canelo Alvarez to fight on. So right now, it gives Jamal Charlo three months. If they announce the fight today, it gives Jamal Charlo three months to prepare for that fight. They'll wait. Canelo will drag it out, the negotiations. Hopefully we get an announcement for tomorrow. But I don't think so. Right? Again, like I said, if they announce it today, today is the 16th, right? Yeah, today is June 16th. So if they announce it today, that means Jamal Charlo will have exactly three months to prepare for Canelo Alvarez and get in the best shape of his career. Three months to today will be the fight. Clearly, they 
that would that would put Jamal Charles, that would give him an opportunity to get in the best shape of his life. They won't do that. They'll wait two weeks, three weeks to announce it. Hopefully Jamal Charles is already aware and not just sitting there waiting to see if Canelo Alvarez, well, he's been in the gym training. Does he have all the tools to beat Canelo Alvarez? It's just that if he's in the best shape and in the best mental shape, physical and mental shape, got all the tools. So Eddie Hearn confirms it, and Eddie Hearn says uh, his Canelo's team has informed him that that's the route that they're going. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But uh, that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. So all I got for y'all, man, it's your boy Blue signing off. I'm gone. Peace.